one of my favorite sites to use for finding Creative Commons photos is Flickr.com. If you were looking for, let's say, the Eiffel Tower, make sure that you spell things right. You can do a search for it. Now the first results that will come up are not only Creative Commons. Some of these may have copyrights on them. Now to make sure that I'm finding Creative Commons photos, I'll go over to Advanced Search. I'll scroll down here to only search within Creative Commons licensed content. And you could, if you wanted to adapt or modify the photo, click on this checkbox. Uh, likely you don't need to use the find content to use commercially. You're using it for school and learning purposes. We'll do the search again. And now these photos should be uh, copyright free images. Now how will we find this out? Well, first find a photo that you like. Let's say that I really like this one here. I'm going to click on it and I can't tell yet if it's uh, Creative Commons or not, but if I scroll down, so I'm just using my scroll bar, if I scroll down I can see that there are some rights reserved. So this person would like attribution and also share alike. So if I click on this, I'll find out what this means. So attribution is I must att attribute the work in the manner specified by the author or licensor. And share alike if you um, end up modifying the image. If you'd like to share it, just make sure that you share it with the same license. You do not put a copyright on his work. So it looks like this person here is okay with uh, it being used, but he would like to have the work attributed to him. So you could simply um, create a link to this photo or simply say that uh, Bob Hall, uh, courtesy of Bob Hall who took the photo likely, and make a link to his Flickr site and that would work as well. And it's as simple as that. So how to get the image, if you didn't quite catch that, I could click on it and see what I have for images. I can click on it again. That's full screen so I can make sure that it looks okay. Then I can close it. I can go see what the different sizes are by clicking on the ellipsis here, the three dots. View all the sizes and find something that suits me. Maybe I just need something that's very, very small for almost like a Nikon or a little thumbnail or something. And then it's just a matter of right-clicking, saving it. You can rename it so you don't need to use these cryptic and it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about this make sure to contact your online teacher.